Good morning and happy vlog! We are here in Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> Parents are currently at breakfast. It's about like 8.30ish. I just slept in and then I got ready a little bit later than they did um, since I don't really eat breakfast that early. And today, the plan is actually going to change because my dad actually, when he first came here from Vietnam, they were sponsored by a community here out in Kentucky and they brought him and his family here to a city called Owensboro. Owensboro is about an hour and 50-ish minutes, maybe less from here. So we're gonna go out there, only spend like probably a couple hours and then head back because I did book a sunset cruise for my parents because I thought they'd like it on the Ohio River. So we're gonna do that um, around eight to 10, but we have to be back into town by like seven-ish. So my parents also want to go to church today. Um, I found a mass at the Cathedral of the Assumption, I believe it's called, which is a very, very beautiful, beautiful church here um, in downtown. So uh, that's at 5.30. So we technically have to probably leave around three back here. So let's see if we can do this. Um, so yeah, let's go see where my parents are. Oh. Oh, what? they're back. Did you enjoy your breakfast? Yes. Uh, oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. They don't have anything, but you have a whole plate. My mom, what did you get? A waffle? Waffle, my mom, they cream. Oh, they don't have like syrup? God. <laughs> oh, thanks, mom. My dad walked on that bridge. It's illegal to walk on that bridge. And the police officer saw him. And he had just gotten here, and the police officer was like, You can't walk on that bridge. And so the police officer drove them across the bridge and said, we'll pick you up at three. And then my dad went fishing with my uncle and then the cops came at three and picked them up to take them back across the bridge. We're on a cool swing. This thing is so awesome. We are currently in Owensboro at the Smother Park. Um, I think so, but it's kind of new. Smother, Smother's Park, Smother Park. This, look at this huge park for kids. It's just a public park. It is huge and so nice. I saw on Google Maps and Pinterest to go to Yellow Creek Park and it seemed kind of weird, but we drove to the end. We're going to a bridge. This says Jim Lambert's Pioneer Village. Oh, feels good over here. Huh? Feels nice. Uh -huh. I brought the wrong shoes for this. We were not prepared for a mini hike. I brought my pants. And I'm getting eaten up by mosquitoes. We gotta take these stairs. Keep walking and you'll see it. You'll see it. Kentucky, my uh, raw 
be flat, flat. <laughs> I thought this was really cool, and then my parents just left. Um, that's all. That's the only thing we're here to see. But uh, okay, let's see where they walk to. We are now going to the Belle of Louisville, a steamboat sunset tour. And I didn't tell my parents about this and they were trying to make other plans and I was like, we have plans, but I'm not going to tell you because I figured they'd have fun on a boat. So, let us go. Hopefully it's cool. What is how Dad, this is a very this is expect you're ruining your luggage. You're you ruining your luggage so you don't have to pay fifty dollars? You already broke the yeah. luggage. Okay, this is the story, okay? 
we very angry. We were at Spirit and my parents both pretty much have the exact same luggage and this lady was like a terror and she kept like choosing people to check their bags. But when she was checking, like charging people, the people with gigantic bags were lucky enough to go inside. So we were unlucky, she checks my mom, my mom gets away with it, then my dad, who has pretty much the exact same luggage, does not get away with it, and she just pretty much is like, let me charge you right now, like credit or debit, credit or debit, credit or debit, and like kept repeating it until I just gave her my credit card, because I was like over it. Anyways, my dad was essentially one tire um, of the roller would not fit and so that's why she charged me a hundred bucks and now my parents refuse to pay mom you changing the back of the video now my parents refused to have me pay for their luggage to go back home that they went to go buy a dollar screwdriver to take out one wheel so they don't have to pay for it because the luggage is only ten dollars, so they refuse to pay so much money for the actual. Oh, that now you broke it forever, man. N never again. Oh uh, yeah. Anyways, we're never flying Spirit until we fly Spirit again. Um, now we have just gotten home from the cruise tour thingy mabobber which was great but it was at a really weird hour because we went to mass and then we had to go onto the boat so we didn't have time for dinner and so we're eating leftovers which is shrimp and grits and we got kentucky fried chicken earlier because my dad really wanted to try kentucky fried chicken in kentucky also my parents are not the biggest when it comes to trying new restaurants out so, yes, they wanted to go to Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC, and it was pretty good. I mean, it's the same, but um, they just have a bigger menu than we have in California. So, let's see. Update. My dad is taking out the other wheel. Ah, oh, he broke his luggage. Ah, oh, yeah. Now you look like homeless. <laughs> I have eating leftovers. This is my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you guys. Dad! I'm okay. You just messed it up. Now you can't use it anymore. Just let me pay for you check in, but no, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no problem. No choice. <laughs> no choice, man. Okay, this is my leftovers. This is from Doc and Crow. <laughs> this is shrimp and grits. But take a KFC biscuit. Dip it in this. So good. No, that's fine. Oh, middle bit. You want to take it out of yours? No, no, leave yours. No, it's fine. 